Okay. Is it square? Let me see. Yes. <clears throat> This, this video is for Richard Jean, the fishing machine. Richard, you, sh you showed my son and I a knot that caused us to catch more crappie than I ever thought possible uh, this crappie season. And uh, now that it's kind of winded down with the uh, springtime crappie fishing, I just wanted to return the favor and show you a better way to tie virtually the same knot. It is much faster and probably 20% stronger and you can do it in the dark. You don't even have to be able to see, see the knot to do it. So here, I'll show it to you. This is a Berkeley Power Nymph. It's a great jig. You're just gonna go through there and you, you use as less line too. You can tie it with as little as this amount of line out, but I'm gonna do it with a little more just to make it easier to see. This is a loop knot. We're gonna make one loop. And normally, uh, with the knot you tie, Richard, you go through here three times, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do something special. We're going to put our finger here, and we're just going to go one, two, three. And then put the jig through there, and we're going to hook the knot itself on the eyelet like you showed us in your video, and that's going to help draw the knot down to within about a quarter of an inch and then slip it off the eyelet and let it cinch down. And that's gonna keep that loop open so this thing undulates naturally. And that little piece right there is gonna look like a little piece of food, a, a zooplankton or something. That, and this jig is gonna be like a bait fish and it's gonna be preoccupied and interested in chasing around this little piece of food here. And what happens is the crappie take advantage of that and just come and, 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 and eat the jig. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just trim off the excess. And we're in business there. The Bennett Crow Loop Knot. There you go, thanks buddy for showing us that.